physics matters in it, but typically when people talk about life, they only think of biology. Of course. Or at most, chemistry and biology. Okay. I like the chemistry. Physics is the substrate of it all. You would say that, no, though. Stop. <laughs> let's I'm, be honest. I'm just telling you. Yeah. Okay? So let's start with some basic facts. Okay. All right? When you're growing up, especially if you were a boy, they say, how strong are you? They would challenge you to this. Exactly. And, 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 and you would, like, show them your muscle. Yeah. Let me see the, the gun show, baby. <laughs> Let me see the bicep. Welcome to the gun show. Okay. Yeah. What they're measuring is the area, the cross-sectional area of your muscle. So the bigger the muscle, the stronger, the stronger it is. That as your muscles get bigger, they become heavier. It becomes heavier according to the volume of the muscle, but the strength increases only as the cross-section of the muscle. I don't understand what you're saying. Think about very heavy animals have very thick limbs. You need thick limbs to hold up that much weight. Weight, right. As you get smaller and smaller, mm -hmm. you don't need thick limbs. How thick is an insect leg? Yeah, not thick. N not. Right. It's not. The ant picks up something that weighs as much as it does. Right. And we walks around walks with around it. around with it. The smaller you are, the even less you weigh for how small you are. Because weight scales as your volume. Weight scales as your radius cubed, but your strength scales as radius squared, which is basically your cross section. This difference means as the animal gets larger, its weight outstrips the ability of its strength to hold up its body. So it needs really, really fat legs to compensate. Gotcha. As you get smaller, the weight starts going away fast because now the radius is getting smaller and smaller and then the area basically wins because now your, your, your volume gets smaller faster than the cross-sectional area gets. So try this, right? If your radius is two, then your volume goes as radius cubed. So what is two times two times two? So you get eight. what? Eight. Okay. Now if your radius is a half. Oh, it's going down. It's going down. <laughs> <laughs> What's a half times a half times a half? half? Right. That's an eighth. Right. Okay. So you get this crossover point in the animal kingdom. That's how the smaller the creature, the bigger is the weight it can carry. That's why Relative to its own body weight. That's amazing. And the higher it can jump. Right. Because the its body mass isn't much relative to what the legs are. Which is the creepiest thing in the world when you see a kangaroo mouse. Oh. Jump. It's a tiny little mouth, uh -huh. and it can jump like <laughs> six feet. <laughs> I'm like, oh.